Okay, dividing dahlias. Hair is tied back in readiness. So after a couple of years, hopefully your dahlia tubers will have bulked up and it means that you can make some more plants for free. Here, and we'll show you a few different tubers as we go along because they're all constructed in a different way. But this one you can see, this is the last year's old stalk, last year's old stalk, and again here. And you can see that the dahlia has actually made three clumps naturally, or oh, four clumps naturally. So I might not have to do very much cutting at all. I might just be able to waggle the fingers and get them to untangle themselves from each other and just make a small incision where the clumps join, just in one place. Use a sharp knife. Don't use anything serrated because otherwise you could cause some damage. And can you see the fingers have interlocked? So if you just carefully waggle, you can divide the dahlia tuber. I'll do it with my other hand in a second. And this one over here is just coming away naturally. And you can just see, just need to lift the fingers up to release it. So there's no need to do excess snipping. Tuber there, tuber there, and there's at least another two tubers here. Oh wow. Let me introduce you to Chat Noir. This is one of the most vigorous dark fruit dahlias I've ever grown. And I love the little flash of lime green at the centre. I'm all the way up a step ladder, and this is out of the top of Neil's flower frame. Look at them just dancing in the breeze. Incredible to see how I'm getting on. So I have got one, two, three, four, five divisions. And then I've got this clump, which I might leave as a whole as my mother stock, because I would prefer to have in my space one plant giving a really good show than have to allocate the space for three smaller plants. By turning it over, look at that complicated mess. If I start chopping it up any more, all that's going to happen is the whole thing's going to fall apart. And I doubt my divisions will be as good as the ones I've got here. So if you did want more plants, so you've got six, if you wanted them more, because this is a nice big clump, the chances are it's going to produce a nice lot of eyes. So we can take a cutting later. And that's lots of fun. But ever a bit flummoxed and you don't know where to cut, just go through the old stalk because that's old it's dead here we go no damage to the good healthy two halves of the tuber actually rinsing these babies off because haven't got time for the compost to drop off in its own time and you can't see what you're doing otherwise. Now this is a different shaped dahlia, this is a cafe au lait and if I turn it around it's had a wash because we've only just dug it up and we haven't got time for them to dry out properly before we need to divide them and you can see really clearly here the swollen nodes where the eyes are. And that gives you a very good indication where you can divide it. So you can see the old stalk here, the old stalk here, a really easy division just there. And it just depends how many you want. If you didn't want to divide it particularly, this tuber is the perfect size to go straight into the garden. Also, when you're checking it, if you just turn them over, can you see there's a rotted part there? It's best just to remove that completely because if it is rotting it will quickly spread to the rest of the tuber but if you remove it you'll be right as rain. So we've removed that rotting part and you can see that it's not spread to the rest of the tuber and this is pretty healthy here. So turning it over and see what else is wrong with it. Now this tuber here and here can you see the neck is broken so the storage is not able to get back to the tuber but don't worry too much because look the eyes up here that's where the shoots are. 
So that's ha that's absolutely fine just to chop that off. I'll do that there. Get rid of that because this is the important bit. I've made the incision and you can see that that's just come away beautifully. And we've got two nice storage tubers here. It's come out the sun slightly. And look at all those swollen nodes. So we're going to have to restrict the number of shoots that come off the day later, but I will show you how to take cuttings with those.